One. Welcome to our second video on the binomial theorem. In this video, we'll be explaining how we can apply the binomial theorem to solve a cube, a cubic equation, or in this case, to find the physical representation of a 3D cube. Let us take this length as a. So with this length, you can have a and a, and then you make an a square. Moving on, we will adding a di additional dimension. We will have an a cube. So. Um, okay, pause, pause. okay, so um, now we will let this measurement be b, and in the two dimensional figure, it will be b times c, b squared, in the three dimensional figure, b cubed. One. And so now, as you can see, uh, with the, the measurements before, we can form two other uh, three dimensional figures. Now, one is b squared a, and the other one is a squared b, as can be seen from the diagram. One. Now, I will be explaining how the expansion of a plus b squared come about. As you can see, there's an a squared down here, and a b a as well, two b a's and one b squared. So, this, in this case, as you can see, the expansion is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which corresponds with our physical drawing. Okay, for the last bit, we will, I will demonstrate how all the pieces filmed in the previous sets form the binomial expansion of a plus b cubed. So, as you can see, the, actually, there's um, the a squared, a squared b and the, and the a b squared. Each of them have three in the binomial expansion of, in, in concurrence with Pascal triangle of 1, 3, 3, 1. Therefore, there's actually there's actually three of these pieces and one b cube. There's another a cube in, in the middle. Okay, so in conclusion, right, this is how you will be able to draw the bi uh, binomial expansion of a plus b cube and a plus b squared. Yeah. Mm.